are Americans, within our minds, within our soul, within our hearts. We are dreamers. In a 1931 quote, it describes the American dream. The American dream is that dream of a land in which life should be better and richer and further for everyone with opportunity for each according to ability or achievement. That is the American dream that my forefathers, the Zang clan, looked for in Gamsung, Go Mountain, America, in pursuit of the American dream for the golden riches of the promised land. And they came across the Pacific Ocean from the Far East shore to escape the poverty, the warfare that was occurring in China. From Yolongong, the village of Dragon Hill, by the Tam Jing, the Brown River, in the Seyup region, the four counties, they came. And this is the saga of 172 years of my forefathers, five generations of them coming in five ways as sojourners, pioneers, and adventurers, my forefathers, through the clippers and steamers across the Pacific Ocean. And they came to build things of their dreams from the bustling port to the leafy valleys, the teeming rivers, the crystal lakes, the rugged mountains. And they had to bear sufferings, struggles, sacrifices with their blood, sweat, and tears. So my forefathers came to Go Mountain over a course of 172 years with five generations. Again, I said, the pioneers, the sojourners, the adventurers. Generation one, Chen Jin Zheng, our gold miner. He came during the California gold rush from 1849 to 1855, panning for gold along the river's bed, the foothills along the Sacramento River by the Sierra Nevada. Generation two, Bunyan Chung, our transcontinental railroad road laborer who came from 1865 to 1869 to build the Iron Road from Sacramento in California to Palmerday Point in Utah. And he was one soldier of 12,000 for the Army of Canton that marched 690 miles to go to Palmerday Point, Utah to the day of the Golden Spike. May 10th, 1869, and where they finished the Iron Road, where the Central Pacific met the Union Pacific. Generation three, Holland Chung, our gambling and opium merchant, my great grandfather. He was very successful living in Boston Chinatown from 1892 to 1926 in the business enterprise of gambling and opium in the heart of the, of the Chinese community of New England in Boston. And among that time, he was in, involved in the Tong Wars, the Along Tong of the East, the Hipsum Tong of the West. But he was a shrewd investor across America, whether it was restaurants or stores. Generation four, Moi Chung, our chop suey house owner, came to America, Go Mountain, 1912, and arrived at Angel Island Immigration Station. And in San Francisco Chinatown, he owned a dry goods store, the Chong Sing Company. In Boston Chinatown from 1917 to 1921, he owned the Royal Restaurant, a chop suey house. And later, at the peak of his career at Central Square in Cambridge between MIT 
in Harvard University, he owned the Imperial Restaurant from 1923 to 1936. That was my grandfather. Generation five, Jim Sui Chung, our quiet man, who came to Go Mountain across from the Pacific Ocean, from Hong Kong to Vancouver, across Canada to, to Boston, to arrive, to live, to study in Central Square in Cambridge. And he moved on to Little Tokyo of Los Angeles, the, the heart of the Nikki community of Los Angeles. He became a mechanic through Curtis Wright Technical Institute in Glendale. During World War II, he was a mechanic for the Pan American World Airways on Treasure Island and in Honolulu Station, where he served the famous seaplane known as the China Clipper. And he was a member of the greatest generation when he was part of the U.S. Navy Reserve. When the war ended, he got into a new venture, and it was the Kubicon Theater restaurant at the gateway of Chinatown on Grant and Bush. Then they eventually moved to Los Angeles Chinatown, worked for Lockheed Aircraft, building America's military planes. But he also served during the weekend at the famous Far East Cafe with the iconic sign that says, Chop Suey. But most importantly, my father, Jim Suey Chong, he fulfilled his American dream when he saw me graduate from the University of Southern California, when he saw my brother, Michael, graduated from California Institute of Technology. He fulfilled his American dream. Go Mountain, America. Is America the greatest country in the world? Where it has sacred promises, the inalienable right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We have our Declaration of Independence, our Constitution, Bills of Rights. We have immigration across the world, of people of color, strangers from different shores. But unfortunately, in 1790, only white people could be citizens of America. That is our America. From the mid 19th century onward, we the Chinese were considered the perpetual foreigners. We have people of color in the midst of the anti-Chinese sentiment, the xenophobia, where we endure slurs Celestial, heathen, Chinaman. We had laws against us Chinese. The paycheck, we could not bring our women, our wives, our daughters, because they were considered prostitutes. There was the Chinese Exclusion Act, where we could not become citizens, that we could only be a merchant to come to Go Mountain. Where we had certificate of identity, to identify ourselves as being a special class of foreigner in America. We had Angel Island Immigration Station, not to include us, but to exclude us to, to come to Go Mountain. We had our Chinatowns, the ghettos, where we were segregated forcibly, not to integrate with the greater American society. For the Chinese, we could not testify in court. We could not own land. We could not marry outside our race. These are the laws we had to endure in Go Mountain, where we had harassments, expulsions, massacres. In Los Angeles, 1871, Rock Springs in Wyoming in 1885, at Hell's Canyon 
in 1887. We endured that, the slaughter of innocent Chinese in the American West. And for our family, the Zhang clan, one particular poignant story, a long lost love. It is a story of Boy Chung and my grandfather and my grandmother, Chen Jung Wong, from 1923 to 1966. They were separated for 43 years until they finally met on Valentine's Day in 1966 at Los Angeles International Airport. 43 years, a long last love. The scars of our family, of the anti-Chinese sentiment, the xenophobia. And for my father, Jim Sui Chong, he came to America as a paper son in 1932 at the port of Boston. The American dream on Go Mountain is our promised land. We have to endure much for the hopes and dreams for our loved ones. Gamsum, Gold Mountain, was their utopia, their heaven, their paradise. America, the land of opportunities, freedoms, and diversity. My American dream was the outward pursuit of education, house, family, and career, and wealth. But life was still a puzzle. On January 30th, 2003, was a turning point, a paradigm shift. In the bungalow on the Gold Coast in Monterey, John Thomas Killip, my dear friend, put a handgun to his head and committed suicide. From that moment on, I have pursued my own journey outwardly and inwardly to my forefathers, both in America, Go Mountain, to China, the Middle Kingdom. And in the course of 18 years, so many stories, so many tales, so many lessons I have learned about their history, their legacy in both worlds. And today, in 2003, I met the crew chief of the China Clipper. Six years later, amazing. November 2007, I returned to Yulongong, village of Dragon Hill, to my ancestral village for my mother as a fallen leaf to meet my relatives. And this is in the land of the Dai La, castle in the sky. Then in 2008, with the reunion of another family in San Francisco Chinatown, it was such tears and joys when we, when we met in San Francisco Chinatown. But most importantly at that time, I received a steel box that was left by my father in 1950. I opened that steel box at the hotel in, the, in Bacadero. And what I found was a time capsule of his life from 1943 to 1950, his life in San Francisco Chinatown. And when I opened the box, I look at the treasures, I cried because I could feel it. I could touch his heart at that moment. May 8th, 2009, the day of Qingming, to honor my forefathers, our ancestors, at the stony tombs on Fei and Sum, the hill of the flying swan. Among the stony tombs they buried are my great grandfather, the gambling and opium merchant, my great great grandfather the Transcontinental Railroad laborer, and my great, great, great 
grandfather, the gold miner. And I touched the grounds where they lay buried. May 10th, 2019, near the Great Salt Lake in Utah at Pomeranian Point, where the Central Pacific and Union Pacific trains met. It was the 150th anniversary of the day of the Golden Spike. I was there representing Bun Yun Chung, my great, great grandfather. So the Yang clan Odyssey and Go Mountain span seven generations to 170 years. The sojourners, the pioneers, the adventurers. And we honor the sons of Yulung Gong, the village of Dragon Hill in Hoi Ping. We acknowledge their bittersweet lives of treks, traces, and tears on the promised land of Go Mountain. For myself, the sixth generation, the engineer. For Kenji Kao Chong, the seventh generation, the filmmaker. Now we hear your cries when your hearts sing your dreams. To continue our American dream with pride, faith, and truth, with our integrity, with our destiny, with our journey, the Zang Clan Odyssey on Gold Mountain. <laughs>